I'm the one that killed Monday, whooped Tuesday, put Wednesday in the hospital. Called up Thursday to tell Friday not to bury Saturday on Sunday. Do black lives matter? Do they really? Do they really, really? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Sad, isn't it? Sad, isn't it, that I gotta say this? So many brothers, right? Uh, and, and I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you melanated people. You know, the people that are darker than blue. Talking to you. Hello. Hi. It's like you so. I make no bones about it. I'm black. I may not look it in the icon, but I am. You know? We are so quick to talk about cops doing this shit to blacks. And you know what? You're right. I mean, I have more respect for teachers, firefighters, and veterans, for real. And some cops are veterans. Then I do respect cops. I don't, I, I, I can't rock with them. But I've been forced to defend them. Right? Here I am. Forced to defend them. Look, fam. If you're a black man and listening to this, understand this. You are more likely to kill me than any cop is, even black cops. Hello, because in my experience, when I complied, it never happened. If I was, you know, making a wrong lane change or, you know, uh, or if I uh, somehow just got drunken in public and Hell, even if I just got into a fight in that drunkenness. You know? A white cop never gave me a bad day. And a black cop never gave me a bad day. If you really look at it, fellas. And and, and I really looked at it. For me personally, I'm the one that made me bad. Made me a bad day. I'm the one that made me a bad day. I decided to grab that bottle when I was sober. So, oh, I was drunk is not an excuse, fam. That's the real shit. I caused all that. Some black men don't want to come to grips with this. And they shouldn't. Damn it, they should. What the fuck's going on here? Alright. Um. There are many videos in, in how you deal with cops. I do recommend viewing them. Maybe I should put them on my, um on my description for this. But yeah, man. They, these cops are doing a job. No shit. You see this, you know this. And yes, on the other side of things, some of these cops were, as children, really hurt, battered, you know, picked on as it were, and they chose an outlet to be something bigger than they're not, that's the other side of things, yeah bruh, I remember you, (laughs) in this case, not you the listener, but I remember you the cop. You were the, uh, 
you were kind of the guy that just couldn't really cut it in gym class. Couldn't really even, you know, get the, you know, get even the most average looking girl. I would always take her from you. And you didn't like all that shit. You know? And so you just put that in your heart as hate. And you went into the fucking weight room. And you just took your frustrations out on a certain person. And you had it on your, in your mind that this is going to be what the bad guy is going to be. Some of y'all had that in your head when you went to the Middle East. Because a lot of you, you know, a lot of you were veterans of the second and in the first Gulf War too. But let me tell you something, man. These people that you are going to oversee are people too. Now, get it. The cop doesn't have a how you say it, you know, like a, um, like your normal type of a lunch break or any type of thing like that. They, you know, get it while they can. I guess they, it, might as well say, they get it how they live too. You know? And this is no sympathy for the, the riffraff that they go out to bust. Because this is another issue that we need to address to some of you that are the riffraff. Hello? Some of y'all cats want to just, you know, try the law. You want to test it. You want to see how far that it can go before you can walk out with a million dollar lawsuit but when you look at the life of George Floyd and yeah the family did get a settlement or yeah, I don't know if I'm saying this wrong Laquan McDonald or LaShawn McDonald uh, there's another one Tamir Wright there's another one Mike Brown there's another one My DJ Khaled all of a sudden. And another one. How far do you want to go. To win that case with that cop. Yeah look. Just because you are doing it in the street. And even if they are fully in the wrong. There is a such thing as being a sore winner. Invest in your evidence. Invest in it, definitely. Bring it to the court when it's time for the court. There's a time and a place for all these things. You know? Now I get it. The cops are out there profiling. Hell. I've even seen cops plant things on brothers. I've seen that happen. But you're not the only one in which they do it to. They do it to every American citizen. They do it to every so-called crook. And I'm putting air quotes on crook that they don't like. But if you are a crook, stop acting like you a Boy Scout, homie. (laughs) Stop acting like you a Boy Scout. You know you be doing wrong. You know you be fucking up. You know? How in the fuck do you even think that you the innocent one in all this? You know what? And, and, and there I do say it. I'm going to just fit it into this. Um, I'm going to fit it into this video or podcast. I'm going to fit it in just like this. Some of them fellas. Yo. They don't even have to confront that issue because they've lawyered up. You know? 
Now, I'm, I'm not a big fan of public defenders. Oh, man, believe you me. You know? I'm not a big fan of them. Because as you know, like I know, that they do work with each other. The prosecution, the public defender that's with you, you know, they all work together. Not too many tips on the legal or anything. They do just enough to work out a deal. And they walk away as the heroes in this. And it's not really a bad thing for them to walk away from it all as the heroes in this. But some of them do such an inadequate job that they think that they get that by default. They think that they got the, you know, the thumbs up. Or, yeah, they think that they got the the go-ahead, the approval, just because they were in that case. They're getting paid regardless. Even if you ain't paying your damn court costs. And if you really look at it, your court costs is really paying for that damn lawyer. Your fine is really paying for that damn public defender. And, and the prosecution. Uh, By that. Yo, I'm going to repeat again. These pro-blacks are not here for you. They are here for them. And they'll stay supremacists. Just like those feminists, they're part of the current cancel culture today. You know? And for you MGTOW men, hell, dare I extend the circle, you red pill men. Stay in your lane. And I mean even literally while you're driving your damn car. As much as you can. I know it's tough too. I mean, different situations, different circumstances, different strokes for different folks, if you know what I mean. But, um, these cops are doing a job. And yet on the other side of things, I feel like these cops... Are, you know, put here to make your day worse. Don't they? God damn, don't they annoy you? So, <laughs> the end game for going my own way. Strictly individual. Not collective. And it's in that the very last thought of my mind within the last beat of my heart would be that I went my own way. Share the man eating the red pill. Catch podcasts every day. Hit a like. Subscribe. Bang the bell. Donate to veterans. Peace, gentlemen.